Hello everyone. This is what we're going to work on today. It's a fabric Easter egg. They're fillable so you can pop stuff in and when you're done with them every year they store flat which plastic Easter eggs if you reuse them every year it it's a lot of storage space. So we're going to try these out this year and I'm making one set of 20 in four different sizes for our kids and each kid is going to have their own color and I'm going to make an extra little square of color so they can just do a drawing and see who gets which color of eggs so that there's no confusion um, but let's get started cutting Also, I'm going to be using some egg-shaped templates to do this, and um, I'm going to list them in my Etsy shop as a PDF download that you can cut out yourself. They're not going to look like this because these are just ones that I threw together to see how well it did. And if you see on these, these are going to be closer to what they look like. But I'm just like attaching the size to each piece of fabric as I go. And I'm doing it on even the front and the back pieces so that if they're separated from each other, I still know what's what. Because there's multiple steps for the back, but not for the front. Alrighty, well, let's get cutting some fabric. put them face down and take our little egg template and put it just like that and then trace around it on the wrong side of the fabric because we're going to eventually be turning these inside out or outside out because when we sew them they're going to be inside out so you'll never see the pen mark so use pen use pencil use whatever I use I just use an ink joy paper mate gel pen I find they work really good on fabric if you're not gonna be able to see it once it's sewn because this it's pen it may or may not wash out I don't know if it does wash out because every time I use it it's in the seams. So since those two pieces are done, I'm gonna take just a post-it note that I wrote five by five inches on it. Because you can print out a whole bunch of these templates and attach them. But I'm just gonna use post-it notes instead of using up all my card stock. So that's that piece. And then we have two, four pieces of the backing to make two eggs. So I'm just going to stick those together. Post it. And a clip. And then these will go in the bin 
of the ones that I've cut already so that when I sew them, I can do it chain piece style and just zip through all the backs and then put them together and zip through the fronts. That will be next after I cut all this fabric. fabric is cut. It's time to iron, which is not a necessary step, but it's helpful to get good clean lines. So the back pieces. I'm just gonna take each one. in the long side, fold it in half, and then just hit it with the iron for a second. And then when you sew, your seam's gonna go across the folded part. Just makes it easier to sew them straight. to iron all these but it's helpful you just want to make sure that the insides on the inside Pressed. On the folded part, we're going to run a seam right across. And I'm going to chain piece.
Now we have all of our backs sewn. We're going to take our fronts. So let's see. Fronts. and some pins. Okay. Front side. We're going to need to be able to see this. So we're going to put it the drawn side, the back of the fabric down. Then we're going to take two of the back pieces and we're going to put one the cut edges along the cut edges and the sewn goes across the middle and then do the opposite and start with the bottom and then go to the top yeah I don't know that it really matters but so that it then looks like this pin in and then you can sew all around so we're going to do that with all of these now we sew around where we drew the egg
now we're going to do it for all of them. Yay! <laughs> All done. Time to cut. I use pink ink shears, but you can use regular scissors. If you use regular scissors, you're going to snip the curves. them inside out or outside in You have an egg shape. fill them with all different stuff so if you do three different sizes the big one will hold and hold a Kit Kat a whole full-size Kit Kat maybe In there. Obviously, take it out of the package. Kind of looks a little lumpy if you put something lumpy in there. But it's going to be hidden in the grass. So. And put a chapstick in them. Candy.
craft supplies. Some things you'll just have to figure out which size it'll fit in. Just like with regular Easter eggs. Not everything fits in the small ones. You can fit two pieces of tape. Rolls of tape in this one. Mini Cooper will fit in here. There we go. Some suckers. These even fit in the big one. So there you go. They're all filled with something different. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.